can't stop here. I just did my farmer's market haul for the week and I got myself some Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna show you guys how a really fast way to make them. Now before you go squinching up your nose like a four-year-old who doesn't like his vegetables, I'm gonna show you a way to make Brussels sprouts that you're actually gonna like them. I promise. And if you don't, I'll give you your money back. Psych! Because you're not paying me anything. So anyway, I got some peppers, colorful peppers for some stuffed peppers I will show you later. Of course, my favorite berries because they're delicious and sweet. Should I close that window? All right, farmer's market is a great place to get your seasonal vegetables, seasonal greens, and seasonal fruits so that you can eat healthy for a lot less money. Hop online, do a little research, and find out where your local farmer's market is because you probably have one. <laughs> so the first thing I do is cut all the funky little nubs off the Brussels sprouts and then slice them in half because they'll cook faster and the insides will get tender. Otherwise the whole thing will be like really too crunchy. So now that I got all my Brussels sprouts cut up and I'm gonna be eating grilled chicken with them because who eats just Brussels sprouts? Boring. So the chicken's on the grill. We just put some spice on it and threw it on the grill. Super easy. If you don't have a grill, you got an oven, stick it in the oven. Rinse your Brussels sprouts off. It's okay if they're still a little wet because that's actually gonna allow them to steam. Then just dump them in a hot pan. You hear it sizzle. Put the top on and leave it. Those are gonna turn a nice bright green color. So it only took three minutes and now you see they're a bright green color and a little charred, which is that part I like a lot. Actually, that's good stuff. Okay, this is the super complicated part. Are you guys watching closely? Um, You put it in a bowl. So hard. And then you add some spicy mustard. Plop that on. And then the last ingredient is agave. So you just need a very little, little bit, a little drizzle. Oh yeah. And then stir it all together. Oh, and the chicken should be done now. After you're done making this, chicken is probably done because it doesn't take that long on the grill or in your oven. So I got my grilled chicken and I got my spicy sweet Brussels sprouts and this is a perfect post-workout meal or a nice lean dinner if you're trying to get cut for spring. Keep the calories down, keep the carbs down. Notice there are no carbs on my plate right now. I'm not saying don't ever eat carbs, but for this meal, this is a carb-free meal. I'm Kim Nonstop. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I put out videos every Wednesday unless I don't have my shit together and I put it on on a Thursday. But for the most part, I put them out every Wednesday. Bye. Reminder to everyone out there watching that we're doing the two mile challenge, which is any distance under two miles, two miles or less, you have to take non-motorized transportation. Under two miles, remember that.